Welcome everyone to the Managing Remote Workers online training course. So the workforce is changing rapidly. An increasing number of employees work remotely by choice, theirs or their employers, or by necessity. A few years ago, 34 million Americans worked remotely, at least occasionally, and that number is expected to jump to 63 million by the middle of this decade. Some of your employees may work at home in close proximity to the on-site team. Others may be scattered around the country or even the globe. Given the increasing global nature of today's organizations, as well as improvements in technology that facilitate virtual collaboration and a workforce that insists on more flexibility and, and independence, this trend is likely to keep going and gaining momentum. So this course will have five main objectives. And when you complete this course, you'll be able to discuss the benefits and challenges of off-site working and relationships for employees, managers, and the organization, explain the importance of successfully managing off-site employees, identify the factors and tools that must be in one place for an off-site employee to be effective, describe the role that trust and communication plays in the success of an off-site relationship, employ strategies that help off-site employees stay on track and that deal with common problems faced by managers, and also follow a set of best practices for successfully managing off-site employees. So the first module here is for coaching for performance improvement. By improving your ability to manage remote employees, you will empower yourself in many ways. You will increase your ability to recruit, hire, and even retain the right employees for a job. You will help ensure that your team is cohesive and productive. You will know how to avoid costly, time-consuming problems and help your team meet its goals. As Dave Ross, co-founder of Workplace Solutions firm, the VIA Group, explains, Skillful managers of remote employees can build camaraderie, create a more positive work environment and encourage stronger business performance regardless of any sort of distance. Now, there's many benefits to this. Now, allowing, allowing employees to work off-site benefits employees, managers, and organizations, and the nation as a whole. Off-site employees can save thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours when they no longer have to commute every day. They can also save money on office attire and food. Off-site employees have more flexibility, more independence, and a better work-life balance. Managers can recruit and select the best people for a job, no matter where they are located. According to the Telework Research Network, organizations can save billions of dollars a year as a result of reduced expenditures for office space, utilities and equipment, and decrease employee app holidays and even turnover because they're working from home. Now, working remotely appeals to many employees. This arrangement can attract many quality workers, boost morale, and increase employee retention. Fewer commuters on the road means less traffic and lower greenhouse gas emissions. So, the benefits for organization, well, they save an expenditure, office space, utilities, um, there's increased morale, there's an increased retention rate, um, even employees taking off days reduces. And the country, well, obviously, as we said, less traffic, better greenhouse um, because of there's le less gas emissions and, e and also less traffic overall. Now, <clears throat> the success of a remote working relationship depends on multiple factors. Now, there's many challenges here as well. Despite the benefits, managing off-site employees can be challenging. Managers commonly ask three kinds of questions. How do I make sure people are working productively when I do not see them every day? 
How can I coordinate meetings when people are in different time zones and have different schedules? How do I keep lines of communication open? How can I keep people motivated? How do I encourage teamwork and interaction among dispersed team members? How do I ensure that information stays private and even secure when it's being accessed and shared remotely? How can I handle conflict between dispersed team members? So, so there's a lot there. So, I would like to read the scenario. So the scenario here is that when Miguel took on his new managerial position in Philadelphia, he discovered that his employees were widely dispersed around the globe. One team member works in the, Del in, in, in the Del Delhi office. Two more are based in London, three more remotely from other states, and all but two of others telecommute from their homes at least four days a week. Miguel has always prided himself on being a good manager whose employees work together well and are very productive. But these off-site working relationships are new to him and he's not sure how best to help his off-site employees be successful members of his team. If you were advising Miguel, what would you tell him he needs to do to handle his widely dispersed employees succeed? So have a wee think and write, and write that down. Now, meeting the challenges of successfully managing off-site employees requires a manager's use, usual toolbox of skills and strategies and even more. Certain factors need to be placed for off-site employees to succeed. These factors are and will be discussed in detail throughout the four modules. Now, right people, employees and managers, right situation and right tools. That's got to be one of them. Trust, ongoing communication, preparation and training, clear goals and expectations, support and feedback, strategies to deal with the common challenges, and there might be many, many more. I'm sure you can think of one or two more by yourselves. So guys, managing remote workers is challenging. It's something new. We need the tools, the techniques to manage this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.